This week we are going to read the parasha of Bamidbar, which is the counting of the Jewish people. The counting of the Jewish people, it was done in two ways. Number one, everyone contributed a half a shekel. And then they counted up the half shekels. So when they came out with 300 and some thousand half shekels, they knew that there were 600,000 plus members of the Jewish people. But there was another part of the count. And that part was every family member, or the member, a member of every family, was to present their family document of genealogy to Moshe and to the respective prince, and that way Moshe was able to take account of all the people. And the question is, why do we need two counts? In such a cumbersome, involved way, that's uh, you know, over half a million people. And the answer is that the Jewish people are counted in two aspects. Number one, we're a nation of many individuals. It's a single unit of many portions. But then there's something much richer about who we are. We are a nation of individuals. Not just are we numbers that make a large mass, but we're individuals, and every person brings their own insight, their own set of experiences, their own family experience, their genealogy. Pesach Diskind, who's married to Ruthie Diskind, and has a background of such, sees things totally different than perhaps Rabbi Yitzi Wiener, who's married to Chaya Wiener, who has his own background, his own set of experiences, and every person brings their own set of experiences. And that's, that makes up the totality of the Jewish people. And perhaps that's why we read the Parsha of, Sh- of Bamidbar just before Shavuos. This Saturday night we will welcome the holiday of Shavuos, which celebrates the giving of the Torah. And that's to prepare us, to let us know that every person has his unique part of the Torah. Not only is he just another number, Another, another individual pulling another book off the shelf and studying Torah. But everyone brings their perspective and their insight and their relationship to Torah. And they translate that into the practice of Torah that makes a, a, a wholesomeness of the nation where the Torah is not just given to a bunch of robots, but it's a vibrant nation with individuals bringing their own personality into their insight and understanding and practice of the Torah. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a very joyous Shavuos. Thank you.